Hey there, this is Minnal once again and welcome to NFC for Beginners video series. In this video, I have compiled a list of 5 Android apps for NFC that will help you to use your NFC tags more efficiently and ultimately boost your productivity. So let's get started. Starting with our first Android app we have is Uber Device Lock. So this app offers a simple way to unlock your smartphone with the help of this NFC tags. Let's say that you are in a situation when you don't want others to access your smartphones and you don't want to give them a lame excuse for not telling them a password. So what you can do is use this app to lock your smartphones with the NFC tag and just tell them that you don't have the NFC tag with you right now and you don't have to give them a lame excuse of not having a password. So let me just show you how this app works. Install this Uber device lock from Google Play. I will be leaving the link in the description box below and once you have installed it, just open this app. After you open this app, you will see that there are a whole bunch of options. But since we are only interested in this NFC part, I will go to this unlock method. And from there, you see that there is three options. The first one says that manage NFC keys. So I want to manage my, I want to select this NFC key to unlock this smartphone. So I will just go there. Now on the top, you will see a small key symbol with a plus sign. Just tap on it. Now place your new tag or NFC tag at the back of your Android devices. Give the name to your key and description to it. I will just name it unlock me. And make sure that you enable this by clicking over this lock button here. And once you are done with the changes, click on the save button. Now go back and make sure that you have turned on your device security it's showing active you if you want you can also give a pin to this in case you want an alternative method to unlock, unlock your phone or if you don't have this nfc tags with you and now let's just, just test it out now i will just unlock my phone and make sure that you are only using your one unlock method and now it will be asking me to select or to place an nfc tag at the back of your phone and just like I place my NFC tag at the back, you see the phone is unlocked. Now let's just try another NFC tag. And you'll see I haven't programmed this NFC tag so it won't open from this. But if I place this one, you see that it App will. number 2 is Puzzle Alarm Clock. So if you're like me, basically a night person and waking up early in the morning is a problem, then this is the app that you need. This app has some great features like quiz and mathematics questions that enables that ensure that you wake up on time. But along with that, my favorite one is disabling alarm using this NFC tags. So let's just say that you have an urgent meeting tomorrow. So what you will do is set up an alarm using this puzzle alarm clock and select NFC tags as a turn it off option. Now put this NFC tags away from your bed like someplace near your kitchen or bathroom and in the morning when the alarm goes on, you will have to wake up all the way to your kitchen or bathroom to turn it off using this NFC tags. So this will ensure, ensure you that you wake up on time. So let me just give you a practical demonstration of how this app works. Install this app from Google Play and once you have installed this app, just open it and you will see this. there is a couple of options. So go to this plus sign and add, add a timer. You can select the mode as normal or warm or calm. In this case, I will be sticking to the normal mode. Turn the volume on. Now the important thing is that select the turn off mode as your NFC and go here and turn it on. And once you are done, click on the save button and after one minute or so you will see that alarm will goes on and let's see what happens then and as you can see that alarm when the alarm goes on there is no option to turn it off except then just playing the stop button and once you put the, this stop button it will ask you to touch your NFC tag to the back of your phone and if you don't do that then the alarm will goes on again let's just don't do it for the first time and let's see what happened and you see that the alarm goes on once again and there is no option to turn it off so just take any of the NFC tag and put at the back first you have to and you see that the alarm still goes on 
so you see that this is a quite a useful app especially if you have a problem while waking up in the morning and it will ensure you that you wake up on time moving on to our third app is insta wi-fi so let's just say that you find yourself in a situation when your friends and family comes over and ask you for your wi-fi credentials but you don't want to write down the long piece of password into a paper and give it to them then you can simply use this application called insta wi-fi so what happens is using this app you can write the login credential for your Wi-Fi in, inside this NFC tag and whoever wants to connect to your Wi-Fi will have to just place this their smartphone at this NFC tag and they will be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. So just download this Insta Wi-Fi from Google Play and once you open this app you will see a very simple interface. So all you have to do is enter your SSID and the security password for your Wi-Fi. And once you are done entering your Wi-Fi credential, just take your NFC tag and put it at the back of your smartphone. And you see that it has given me a confirmation of Wi-Fi configuration has been saved. Now let's just check it out. So let's just say that this is a smartphone and they place your NFC tag. You see that they will be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. Uh, however, the drawback to this app is that the person who is trying to connect to your Wi-Fi should have NFC in their phone and another drawback that I found is that they need to have this app installed and if they didn't have this app installed then they will be given a link to the Google Play from where they can download and install this app. Coming down to our fourth app is Trigger. So if you have heard the word NFC Task Launcher, so don't get confused because previously Trigger was known as NFC Task Launcher and you might find this name used in a couple of the YouTube videos. And so basically this Trigger is used to program this NFC tags to do a couple of things. And this is, I have found out that this is a very powerful application and you can do a whole bunch of things. And the good thing is that it is free. So let's just take it a look how, how, how this application works. So after you have installed Trigger from Google Play, just open it and you will see an interface like this. Under My Task, you will need to create a task to trigger an option. So first of all, you have to create a trigger that start working. So in this case, we will be using NFC tags. So our trigger will be an NFC. You see that there are a couple of other options. This is why there is a change of name. But since in our case, we will select NFC and click on Next. You can select other restrictions like when the Bluetooth is connected and when the Wi-Fi is interrupted. But let's just say it, we can take a look at that later and ignore this. And now select this next option. Now you will have to select couple of tasks that are released when you trigger this NFC tags. So let's just pro program this NFC tag for my car. So what I will do is whenever I am in the car, I want to turn on my Bluetooth. And I want to launch my let's just say I want to launch my music player so I will go to this application option and select open application and I want to turn off my Wi-Fi so I will select this turn off my Wi-Fi now click on next now it will ask me for couple of details that I want to do so first of all I want to toggle my Wi-Fi so that I can turn it on turn it off when I am in the car and turn it back on when I am the back and Let's just select toggle and I want to launch my music player application. Okay, now click on OK and select next. Switch so is something that is used for toggling. Since we have already selected the toggle option, we can just ignore this. And now it will ask me to write this, place my tag at the back of the phone so that I can write it. And as you can see that the information is successfully written on this tag. Now, when I'm, whenever I am in the car, I can just place my smartphone to this tag and you will see that it will launch the application one by one. So, you see that my Wi-Fi has been turned on and my Bluetooth has been turned on and it has launched my Google Play application. And whenever I will play it back on, you will see that it will toggle my Wi-Fi on, launch my music player and turn off my Bluetooth. So this is a, just a small demonstration of how Trigger works but if you dig in more deeper then you will find that this is a very powerful app and you can do a whole bunch of things with it. So if you are going to install only one app to program your NFC DAX then this is the app that you need. Tasker. Now actually Tasker is not a free app and you, I guess you might have heard it. It's available on the Google Play for I guess $3. 
and if you take a look at Tasker, it is not made for NFC, but you can do pretty much very heavy stuff on Tasker. Let's just say that if you want to perform a task or set of actions based upon another set of actions or another task, then you can use a Tasker. And if you ask me, in my personal opinion, Tasker is a whole new world to develop a new program for NFC. So you can also make a application, Android application using Tasker and then put it on the Google Play and make money from it. So let's just take a look on how Tasker works. So we will be doing in this tutorial is that we will make a uh, uh, we will make a task using a Tasker and then use NFC to perform trigger the task. So let's just take an example. Whenever in the morning I woke up, I need to check up my analytics and mails and and then I want to check up my Twitter account. So let's just see that how we can do that using a Tasker option. So I will fire up this application. And you see, once you open this application, it might look pretty overwhelming for the first time. And I must admit that it is not very user friendly and you have to get associated with it. Basically, it's an app made for developers. So let's just say that uh, we will perform a task like I open up my, in the morning, I open up my Gmail and then automatically it should launch my Twitter account. So what I will do is, go make a new under the profile option i will make a new project name morning and now i will need to specify what application i use so what i will do is first i will launch an application called gmail and click on this go back so now see that there is no option to click on ok so in tasker you will have to go back and it automatically selected ok now once I have opened the application Gmail, I want to select what happened next. So in this case, I want to open up my Twitter account. So I will select the new task and name it Twitter. So you see naming is optional, but it helps you to memorize it. And next I want to select an action what happens when I open my Gmail account. So in this case, I want to open my Twitter account. So I will click on this plus sign and select an app. What I want to do is a loader new app. So I will select the no loader app option. From here, I will select the Twitter option and um, let me where it is twitter here it is okay so these options are for advanced purposes and for this tutorial i'm just leaving it so you see what happened is whenever i open twitter it will launch twitter whenever where i will launch gmail it will automatically open twitter but what i want to do is first i will open gmail and when i close gmail i want to open twitter so i will just Move, select it to move to exit option now another thing that I want to do is I only want to make this setting in the morning time and whenever in the evening or in the afternoon when I want to launch Gmail I don't want to see the Twitter opening after it so I will just add a time to it now in this demonstration purposes I will select the time for now only and click on now and go back so you see the time has been launched to this now let me just test it you see that i have opened gmail and when i go back you see nothing has happened because the time has been expired so i will just go back to this and select the time for 3 6 and now go back and do it once again so now if i launch gmail the twitter should open up so i launch gmail and you see that Twitter has automatically launched. Now I want to do this. I don't want to even launch my G Gmail option. So what I will do is using this trigger option, I can put it inside my NFC tags. So go to my task and create a new task under trigger. Select NFC just like we did in the previous option. You can ignore all this. Now you see that there is an op additional option to import task from the tasker. And if you scroll back, you see there is a tasker option. Hit it. Now from there you want to select a tasker task so it's basically it's very easy to select it from here click on next and click on the search button and it will launch so I want to launch gmail and click on ok click on this next option done now write it down in this tag ok now whenever I will tap this NFC tag at back of my this device it will automatically launch the tasker task let's see how it works so you see it has launched my tasker task and it, since the time has been expired from that it will launch, launch the twitter account so in short tasker is a very heavy and very powerful application which is beyond this which is beyond this tutorial or beyond the scope of the any of the tutorial that you see on youtube 
and I strongly recommend you buying this application because this is the best application that you can buy for your Android.